Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS 2605 channel. We're back with our MLB Power Pros 2008 season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So, we beat the Oakland Athletics in our first game against them at McAfee Coliseum. Destroyed them. We tried going for the run record, but between me having to get ready for work and uh, just some unfortunate circumstances, we were fell up short. But hey, that's all good, right? Because we got two more games to try it. So on the mound is going to be Tim Wakefield, 4.27 ERA. Let's see how he can knuckle his way to victory here. We're going against Snell, I'm not sure what his first name is. Certainly isn't Blake Snell. He'll be given the first pitch to us, so we'll go ahead and do it here. Okay, Blue Jays, let's play ball. Alrighty, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. First scores were 15-3 and 15-3 that I saw. It was the White Sox and another team that I think Rangers and Indians, so. Heading into the game now. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Leading off for Aurelia. He's got a low 5 ERA. This ball one. Wins a factor one heading southeast. It's slightly in the pitcher's favor. But at least at this point, don't count on it stopping any home runs. He's got the fastball, the slider, it's a 2-1 count. Hits it up the middle. What a catch! Holy moly. He almost ended up like President Trump after... Oh, he isn't president. Former President Trump after that rally. May I... Like, I swear, like, I... That happened. I was at work. I went on my break. Like, it didn't happen before. It didn't happen... Like it happened during it. What the hell's going on here? He has to enter the next uh, rally to many men by 50 cent, but enough of that. Here's a 2 1, takes the fastball, 2 and 2. Durham gets a piece of it. That's up to Snell again, throws it over to first. That's the second out. Alright, here he is, Burke Nowitzki, 553, 51, 121. Ball one. Strike one. That one go by ball two. He's pitching himself. It's a pretty even count so far. Just throw a little more balls than I think he'd like to. Speaking of balls, that ball. Is that out of there? Barely made it. 390 feet. Berkman hits a solo shot. That was just waiting to get smacked out of there. It's going to be a quick 1-0 lead for your Toronto Blue Jays. 52nd on the season, 122nd RBI on the season. Here's Rios, just take a timeout, 13 pitches. It's only one run, it's the smallest lead one could have. Taking a curve right on the money for strike one. Two-seamer, well inside, 1-1. One one. Taking that change up, stayed in the zone. One and two to Alex Rios coming up. Rios gets a piece of that right to Jeff Kent over to first. That's the end of the inning. So Bergman gets a solo home run to put us on the board. We've still got another eight innings to bat and nine innings to pitch. Bottom of the first coming up, and it's Wakefield on the mound. So let's see how he can do here. Upton took a hell of a swing, fouled it back, 0-1. That one's hit up. That one's going back. Caught the net. 0-2 now. And hits good swing at that. Loduca's going to get it. That's one down. Here's Rowan. Batting just under 250. As close as 250 as you can be without being it. Back-to-back pop-ups to Paul Loduca. That's two outs. Here's Atkins, who is batting 250. Pulled that one off the skinny part of the bat. That's going for extra bases. Barely stays fair. Scott relays it. Yep, he's on second. So Wakefield was perfect for, through two thirds. It's so whatever. Here's Kent. 296 26. Just missed that one. 0 and 2. Got him swinging on three pitches. Wakefield's out of the first, keeping the shutout alive. Top of the second coming up. Leading off is a long gone Braun. Shame he isn't facing a lefty pitcher. 
We'll see what he can do here. Ball one. Ball two. Strike one. That one's out of zone three and one. In case he gives you one here, wait on it. One's now going east to factor one. Neither here nor there in anyone's favor. Payoff pitch to long gone. Baran is coming up. Here it is. Blew it by him. Strike three. Oh, well, here's Mike Lowell up now. 548, 3785. This is his uh, best hitting habitat. No men on base. Swings up the 0 1. That's going out there. Will that fall for a base hit? Yes, it will. First base hit that wasn't a home run tonight for the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Luke Scott, lefty righty matchup when we want it. Swings out the first pitch. That one's going into the gap. That'll fall. There it goes. We're going to keep the men on second and third. One out. Sacrifice is available for Paulo Duca coming up. And he's got a. He's more known for his fielding so far. This game takes ball one curve. It's that one over to right field. Tag up. We get there in time. Jeff Kent. Yep, he's letting him run. Sacrifice fly for Loduca. 2 0. Here's Granderson. 450, 33, 73. Strike one. It's that one. That's to Yabeski Benincourt. Over to first. That'll be it for the top of the second. So we get one run across. Two for three. Not bad at all. Bottom of the second coming up, and it's their five guy, Scott Hatterberg. I think just over 300. I didn't throw a knuckler. I'll get that one for strike one. That was on the line of the bottom zone. Strike two at the knuckler. Took one heck of a cut at it. Here's the 0-2. Get off the skinny part of the bat. In between right field, second base. There's another base hit for Oakland. Here's Jack Jones, and he swings up the first pitch he sees. That's going for a single. Men are on first and second. No outs. Johnny Estrada. Just let that fastball mistake go right by him. That could have been trouble. And that one's going into the outfield. Three straight outfield blue pits. Throw it, Rios. That's a cannon. Ah, just not in time. 2-1. All right, Wakefield, don't let this get away from you, man. You're facing Bettencourt here. He's well below the Mendoza line. It's 175. If that one... No, Rios has it. For the second... Oh, should have gone for first. It's whatever. One out. Instant millage. Ball one. Just missed the zone. Ball two. Two on one. There we go. Get back into the count. Strike two. So at that, that's looking like a double play. It's possible. Get him there. He's safe at first, but at least we got the out in scoring position. Runners will be on the corners now. Two outs. There's B.J. Upton. Strike one. Swinging at that. Strike two. 0-2 oh, now. Oh, that one gets away from him. Nope. Keep it there. Throw it a second. He's safe there, but that was actually probably not a great decision. He could have Guy on third could have taken off. Keep an eye on him, Wakefield. Right, we got pitches to play with. I don't care if you go to a payoff. That one, mistake when we didn't need it. They take the lead, 3-2. Okay, that's not what we needed right now, Wakefield. Let's check that ERA yours. It's a mid-four now. Strike one. He's taken off. He gets a piece of it. Is that going for another base hit? Come on, Luke Scott. Eh, uh, shall. Alrighty, cool. Alright, Atkins. Man of the three spot. Strike one. That's it right to Durham. Throw him out. Got him. So the damage was certainly done. We're behind in the game now. They're three for six. We're two for three. 
Top of her lineup is leading off against Snell. Let's see what Aurelia can do. 0 for 1 with a liner. Snell only has one strikeout on the game. That was to Braun. Taking strike one. Hits that one hard. Right to Kent. One down. Because can't always speak too soon, but that seemed pretty cut and dry there. Here's Durham, 0 for 1. 430, 1140, I think. 1140, right? Yep, okay. As a side note, it's terrible weather where I'm at right now. Like, supposed to be, it was like a thunderstorm for like four or five hours yesterday, and it's supposed to be raining all day today, so. Not fun weather. Certainly not baseball weather, if you ask me. Anyways, it's 2 1 Ray Durham now. Take it. Stayed in the zone. That was a fair call. 2-2 two two to Ray Durham coming up. Let it go. It's going to be a payoff pitch to Ray Durham. Here it is. Believe it's the second payoff pitch of the day. Durham hits it. That's going to left field. Durham's on base. So Berkman is 1-for-1. One one. Wind is now going southwest. Factor 1 instead of just... Southeast, excuse me. Instead of just east. I'll give him one power swing here if there's something I like. Strike one. Ball one kind of is even. I just missed the corner. We got pretty lucky there. Didn't go for called strike. He's keeping an eye on Durham. I'm pretty sure he's anticipating a contact swing here. Three and one. Let it go by. Unless it's right over the plate. Lined that hard, it was in the zone anyway, went foul. Alright, it's sticking to contact. Three and two. Hits that up the middle, off his glove. Betancourt can't get it, so there's a base hit. We're lucky he didn't catch that for an out. That could have been a double play. Here's Rios, men are on first and second. One out, strike one, change up ball high. I think that should have gone for a ball. Strike two. Hits that fastball, that's a double play. There's one. There's two. Alright, that kind of sucks. It's only the third inning. We're two for five. They're three for six. That one hit is currently the difference now. Four, five, six, part of the lineup for Tim Wakefield. Kent, 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Went down swinging. Only strikeout today for Oakland. Strike one. Just got to keep that knuckler low. Pops that right up. That could have been Loduka for a third time, but instead it'll be Wakefield. First out of the inning. Right here's Hatterberg, one for one with a single. This is kind of where it all began. Fouled that back. Once again, another mistake when we really don't need it. When still the same, slightly in the pitcher's favor. Off the skinny part of the bat. Berkman, two down. Jack Jones, one for one with the single. Swinging at that higher knuckler, strike one. Hit it right on the money, Durham, got it. All right, three up and three down when Tim Wakefield needed it. We're through the third now. Top of the fourth is coming up, leading off is long gone Braun. So we went down swinging, so chances are Snell's imagining that. We got a swing at an early pitch here. Wind is now a factor of one heading south, just slightly in the hitter's, excuse me, in the pitcher's favor. With the guy with this kind of power. Oh, that one's got to be gone. Home run. How far did that go? I didn't even see it. 436. Okay, that went really well. Just when I say it. Guy with this kind of power, it's not going to matter. Braun evens up the game. So, our killer bees both get solo shots. Game is tied. I want to see a replay of that. No. Nope. Hopefully, see it after the game. There's Lowell. One for one tonight, I believe. Yes, he is with a single. Call ball one. I think it was the right call to make. Ball two. Ball three. Two of them went our way. Wait for a meatball. So now's the time for it. Strike one, high two seamer. Me two with a fastball now. 
Just the payoff pitch to Mike Lowell. Got a hold of it. That's past him, and that's going for his second hit of the night. That's good. That's when we needed it. So you got the man on first. Still no out. Here's Luke Scott. One for one with a double today. Say so the same thing. We'll give him one power swing here. Strike one. Hey, for all the balls we got with Lowell, I think that's fair to call that a strike. Oh, man, right on the corner. All right, we're going contact. Never mind. It's that hard to third base. That could be a double play. Atkins to Kent. Scott's too fast. So we keep the man on first. I think the better runner of the two. There's Laduka. Man on first, one out. Ball one. Let's take what happened. So we had the sacrifice fly. We're not in a situation for that right now. It's ball one. Ball two. He's probably going to just pitch himself to a payoff pitch. 3 0. Oh. Not call it went our way, but I think it was certainly a ball. Strike one on the two seamer. There it is. Two seamer fastball combo. Payoff pitch to Paulo Duca coming up. One out. Man on first. Gets a hold of it. Oh, and that's over the head of the first baseman, Hatterberg. And there's a single for Paulo Duca. One for one tonight. Here's the man who can do some damage, Granderson. It's that just stubbed off the end of the bat. Is he going to tag him out? They're going for the double play. Kent over. Granderson safe. So two outs. Man in scoring position. Man on first. Here's Richarilia. They have the force out. That's second and first. So it's technically home plate. Gets a hold of that when foul. He's in an 0-2 count. He's behind. Here comes from Snell. Let that changeup go by. 1-2. and two. With the changeup inside. 2-2. Two and two. Gets hold of that one. That's hit hard to Kent. That'll be the end of the inning. So we got the run we needed thanks to Braun. Tie game. We're three for eight. They're three for six. Johnny Estrada in the seventh spot leading up, so it's the weakest part of the lineup. But he is a 354 hitter. Strike one. Is it hard? Over the glove of Durham. There's a single. Okay, Granderson. No need to make a dive for it. All right, man on first. No outs. Here's Betancourt, 174 average. Hits that one. Lowell. Oh, that's falling. Yep. Right. Oh, my. I love it when they do this. Just get your ass over to third base. Alrighty. Men are on first and second again. No outs. I guess this is karma for saying the weakest part of the lineup. Here's Millage now. 0 and 1. Fell that right back. Two. Just a piece of that. Oh man, I thought for a second is that going to be a triple play, but we get the force out. So man still on second. One out here's BJ Upton. Perfectly on the corner for strike one with that knuckler. Mistake? We got lucky. He fouled it just back. That could have been three run bomb. When it's a factor southwest now. It's been slightly in the pitcher's favor all night. Throws it over to first. Got him for the double play. That's the inning. So no further damage done. Stats are exactly the same through four innings. Three and eight. Top of the fifth, and it's Ray Durham leading off for your Toronto Blue Jays. One for one for two tonight. Ball one. That was well up high. Ball two. He's painting just outside the top corners. I call one our way, but it's 3-0 and now, just in case he serves you one. Strike one, the fastball. The call could have gone our way, it didn't. Once again, a payoff pitch. It's to Ray Durham with no men on, no men out. He gets a hit into the gap, and that's going down for a single. Two for three tonight now, Ray Durham. Here's Berkman looking for a cycle. There's a power swing there. I think... Right now, Lance has earned it. He's looking for a cycle. 
So nothing of one. Snell's getting tired out there. Ball one. Fouls that one back. I th yeah, we better switch to contact here. One and two. Gets a hold of that. That's looking like a double play. Betancourt, Kent. Berkman's not a good runner. Just didn't make it. So he got a double play when he needed it. But here's Alex Rios. And so Rios just wait on a wait on a mistake. Strike one. Gets a piece of that. That's going foul. Now nothing in two. Let's see what happens here. Laid off that for ball one. Ah, oh, phase me there. I thought that would... At a glance, that looked low enough, but instead Rios goes down looking. So one hit, nothing working of it. Bottom of the fifth coming up. Two, three, four, part of the lineup. Here's Rowan, one for two. So after giving up three runs in the second, Wakefield has been pretty good since. The last thing was a little scary. There's the first out there. But he pitched out of it. That's all that matters. Atkins one for two with a double. Strike one. Strike two. He just missed that, and he took a swing at it. Gets away from Wakefield. Thankfully, not over the plate. It's fine. One and two. We got him behind in the count. Makes good contact. That's going to left. Scott is there. Two down. Here's Kent, 0 for 2 so far. 286, 626. A lot of sixes in that. Strike one. When it's now in the haters' favor, going northwest. Wakefield's got it. That's three down. So three up and three down yet again for Tim Wakefield. Top of the sixth coming up. Only thing difference between us two teams. We have one more hit than they do. And here's a guy where he can make something happen. And immediately fouls that one back for strike one. Just be, you know what? Just got to be patient. Strike two. Better swift to contact. Switch just to contact just to be safe. That one's out of there. Ball two. One and two now. Crushes that one. Same animation, but no win foul this time. Gets a hold of that. That's to Kent. One down. Taking him out. They're keeping him in to face Mike Lowell. Two for two. And I don't know what they're thinking with Mr. Solo shot himself. There's ball one outside. He's gassed. That's got to be gone, right? The wall's high, but no, it made it. One foot short of the funny number. That's 38 on the season. Lowell breaks the tie. And we got to trust him to get his solo home runs like he always does. 4-3, we have the lead. They're taking him out. Hey, he went five and a third. And only he allowed four runs. When he really should only allow three, they should have taken him out. They're putting in the closer Gagne, which is an interesting move. ERA, a mid-six. Strike one to Scott. Strike two to Scott. Are you kidding me right now? Scott gets a piece of that. That's going for a single. Got it to center field. So man on first, one out. Here's Loduca. One for one tonight with a single. Strike one. It's that one hard. Kent. It's betting court. That's the end of the inning. Double play takes them out of the inning, but hey, we broke the tie when we needed it. Now we got to be minefield. How many innings do we want Wakefield to go here? Because with three round runs, he's been lights out other than that second inning. I think we might have to think about making some substitutions here. Depending how this inning goes. It's at least getting the quality start. Hatterberg just let that absolute meatball go by. So I appreciate it. That's it hard. Aurelia. One down. There's Jones. One for two. Hit to Durham. 
two out. Strada, two for two now. Strike one. That's three up and three down for Wakefield, so he's proving himself that he deserves to stay on the mound right now. They're three for eight, or four for 11. Top of the seventh coming up. Here's Granderson, 0 for two. Strike one. It's crazy. We got 27 runs the last game, and now we're struggling to beat them by one run. Granderson, that's into the shift, but fell for a base hit nonetheless. He's one for three tonight. Fourth time coming up through the lineup. Here's Rotorilia, 0 for three. Think, you know what, since he's 0 for three, let's go ahead and let's let him bunt. Take the first pitch. Oh, that was perfect. Holy moly, what a perfect bunt. We go man on second one out. Here's Durham. Win is going East Factor one. We just need a well placed hit. Oh, there it is. Thought the shortstop might have that. He doesn't. Men are on the corners. Look who's up. Any hit, any hard hit ball should be just fine to bring him in. But hey, if Berkman can break the skate wide open, game wide open, game wide open. Excuse me. We're gonna let him strike one high corner fastball. Greatest hit selection. Two down. There's Rios here. Ball one just missed the top of the zone where you try to get Berkman. And Rios hits that changeup. That's going for a base hit. We got the run in. 5 3. It's a two run lead now. Look who's up next. Gagne's tired. This is the perfect time. Braun hits the first pitch he sees. That one's going. Will it go far enough? At the warning track, Millage had it. Already seventh inning stretch. We have not scored multiple runs in an inning, inning tonight. I, you know what? I think we're going to need it. I have it here. Good luck, Water. Five for 14. There's still three for eight. Weakest part of the lineup yet again. Eight, nine, and one. Well, BJ Upton can be dangerous for Tim Wakefield. Six straight outs here through the five and six. He's got to remember it's one, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game at McAfee Coliseum. Alrighty, bottom of the seventh. Ben Accord is one for two. Ball one just missed. Foul back. Loduca gets another foul pop up. See how come Wakefield can catch that every time it's Richard really over there at second base. He's like, oh. Millen's 228, 316. I like that. 316 total. We got to get him out here. He certainly can't add to it here, right? Foul ball. It's an 0 2 count. Fouls that one back. No chance. Tell you what, I'm going to do something a little risky here. Laid off that fastball, one and two. Are you kidding me? That should have been a strike. Instead, it's two and two now. Durham just out of reach of him. Millage is on base. So the game can be tied here against BJ Upton. Just to bring in a pinch runner. They put in a guy who's slower. I'm not, this might be a bluff. I don't know what's going on here. There's ball one. Maybe a better defender. They just brought him in. Quick 1-1 one, one count. 1 for 3 with a double play. It's BJ Upton. Speaking of double plays. Got him! Perfect. That was literally perfect right there. That's BJ Upton's second double play of the night. Maybe it could have gone differently if they didn't bring a slower runner. But, yep, that was literally one step away. It's Wakefield. Still shutout innings. Three for nine now. Because I remember at the end of the fourth, they were three for eight, right? And Lowell just made this a three run game. Did I speak too soon? Oh, that barely made it. I almost spoke too soon. It was the second solo shot of the night. Six three for Toronto. 39th home run on the season. I believe that's probably like his around his 70, 
What would that be? Like his 80th RBI? 7980? They're bringing in Villarreal here. They should have taken out Gagne when he got tired. And Scott's looking for a cycle. But it's not quite batting practice yet. We got to focus on the game here. It's a two run cushion, three run lead. Oh, that was a heck of a pitch there. This is the guy with the nasty slider, right? That one moved the other way. Caught by Atkins, one down. Sladuka, one for two. Had a double play of his own, but can't happen. have one here. It's ball one. Ball two with the slider, that's nice. When he uses that pitch, you gotta hope that it goes to waste for him. That SIFB, that's going to right. Bourne is there, he got it. Bit of a running play, but he was there. There's Granderson, last batter in the lineup. This is the matchup we want. And he hits the slider on the first pitch for a single. So when you're counting on it, it can be good. Here's the shortstop. You know, I'm going to keep him in. Just because I don't see bringing Thomas in against uh, righty would be a very good move here. Wakefield, our pitching just needs six more outs anyway. Just keep the best defense we can have. That one's pushed. Hatterberg steps on the bag, and that's it. Looks like Aurelia's going to end the night hit list. But we get another one run when we need it. We're 6 for 16. They're 3 for 9. Here's 2, 3, 4. Wakefield's getting tired. Next runner in scoring position. He's out of there. Strike 1. It's that to short. Aurelia, and that's why we keep him in. We need the best defense possible. One down. Check the array. It's again, it's a low four. Strike one. Hit hard down third baseline. Just went foul. I would have preferred that to stay fair. Give Wakefield one more out. Got him swinging. Two down in the eighth. I just wanted to take a look at his strikeouts. Only two, and he's facing the other guy you struck out tonight. Mistake. That one's gone, yep. So what happens when you gamble. You can't catch a solo shot. He just got Lowell's home run back. That's the seventh on the season. Now it's 6 4. All right, Wayfield, you're out of there, man. But you played great. 432. Yeah, he played great. We can't get angry at him for that one. Once again, he allows four runs, but we're going to put in Kinney. So, Kinney, get at least. Uh, out of the inning, I'll probably keep you in for the eighth for an out or two. Then we'll put in Lindstrom. Hit hard by Hatterberg, third base. That's it. Ready. So they got the solo shot, no, nothing working of it. It's only a one run cushion right now. So you gotta be careful here. There's Durham. This would be the time to bring in Frank Thomas if we need it. Slider snuck in the zone, strike one. Miss that slider, 0 2 now. Wind is in our favor, heading uh, northeast, excuse me, factor one. Wind has not been that terrible all game, really. There's Berkman looking for a cycle, but this is the time to crush a ball. Strike one, so he's got a splitter, SIFB, slider, fastball. Try to read that slider, nothing working of it. 0-2. I think it might be worth just taking this pitch. I don't care if you go down looking. Just keep an eye on Durham. Let it go. Yep. And hey, it was an argue call, but I'm fine with that being strike three. He's pitching to Rios. Ball one outside far. That one is breaking in on his hands, but he gets a piece of it. Keep him on first and second, one out. Look who's up next. Slider try to get him, but he fouls it back. Strike one. Ball two. Excuse me, ball one. There's ball two. He's trying that slider on the corner. Uh, that's fair enough, I suppose. Two and two. And he read that one right. That one's going deep. Did Braun just seal this game? Oh, it barely made it. Three-run homer. That's his fourth RBI tonight. Second home run. There we go. That just burst the game wide open. All right, Kenny, you're going to stay in the game and give Lindstrom the night off. There were two outs away. Here's Ladema. 
But wouldn't you know it, it's batting practice for Mike Lowell. Four for four with two singles and two home runs. Still looking for a cycle. This game was close to literally, we had two outs to spare. Lowell hits that one up. I think that's going to stay well in the park. Yep, there's Upton, two down. And so tonight, four for five. Just because we have a left fielder to replace him, right? All right, Thomas, what can you do? 241 average, one home run, five RBIs. Now's the time to get one against a lefty here. That's going well foul. That's a shame. That's the third time we see that animation. We're one for three on that tonight. Gets a good piece of that one. That's going. It'll stay in the park with Bourne. That's the end of the inning. So, defensive substitution. We finally broke through for multiple runs when we needed it. Thanks to Braun. Bottom of the ninth. Oh, no, not pitcher, but uh, fielder. All right, Marlon Anderson, you're coming in. Here we go. Strike one from Kinney. At this point, just pitch however you want. Let's hit off. Lowell, just out of reach of his glove. We, they got a man on base. And we can't let this game get away from now here. What do we have? Eight, four run cushion. Yes, we do. Strike one. I think only five, excuse me. Actually, no four, because the yeah, FI would tie it. All right. Back to back singles. This is not what we need right now. Pitch hard to him. Strike one. Strike two, that was lucky, I gotta say. It's grounded. Alright, got it at second. Men are on the corners, one out. That was a bit of a difficult decision, honestly. Because I thought about uh, just getting him in first, get the nice safe out. He did get close there. Here's Orn. 2.05. Oh, Aurelia. Oh, I almost got angry at you. <laughs> Back-to-back -back replays. He literally just lay up. Is that a time has jumped perfectly? Here's Upton. Pulls that one to Lowell, and that's the end of the game. They really learned how to take a pitch. But that game was close nearly till the end. Braun broke through when we needed it in the top of the ninth with only one out. There we go. That's the end of the game. Wakefield gets another win, allowed four runs yet again. Seems if we can score more than four runs, which we usually do. We'll win the game with Wakefield on the mound. Bottom the second, that was part of their three-run rally that had us at a deficit. It wasn't a half bad throw at all, but fortunately, things you can't get it. There's Lowell. He broke the tie. Top of the ninth. That was, yep, that was what sealed it. Ron coming through, three-run bomb. So I'd say he's certainly the player of the game. Bottom of the ninth, first pitch, literally right there to Lowell. And they're going to give it to Lowell because he had the go-ahead run, but I think you give it to Braun. He had four RBIs, he matched them, and he sealed the game with that ninth inning homer. Well, that was a good game. Certainly competitive. You know, compared to the first game, that was like a thriller. I mean, it certainly was. Kenny is rewarded with the save. That's his second on the season. Well, between him and Lindstrom, I guess we have two closers now, but no point in taking him out. Just let up Lindstrom the night off. Wakefield 9-0. Snell 4-4. Four four. Kent his seventh home run, but Berkman got 52. Brown got 57 and 58. Lowell got 38 and 39. He's almost at 40. Stat line. Aurelia went hitless, but hey, it's whatever. Because Braun showed up. Yep, two home runs for both him and Lowell. 1-1, one, 4-2. One, and then Loduka had one, yeah. Loduka had the sack fly through there. So everyone's staying in the same tense bracket of home runs. Kenny got the save. Wakefield got the win. Seven, two thirds. Shamey gave up the solo shot, but that was my choice to keep him in. He's at a 4.32 area now. Went up by point. Oh five. Yep, I was about to say point five, but nope, that would be half. Alrighty. A lot of pitches went across. How many? Yeah, I see mistakes. Yeah, so you know, seven of those. Yeah, seven of those mistakes were right across the plate. Sixty-five knucklers. So he threw. Yeah, sixty-seven pitches. Took Kenny only ten. Wait, what? 
How many did he throw? Almost mistakes count, so nine. 74, okay, all right. Mistakes count for some reason. All right, whatever. All right, let's take a look. What happened here? His stamina went up, knuckler went down, control went up. What can you do? Just a one point short of 420. Let's take a look around the league here. Rays lost in demanding fashion. Yankees lost, but the Orioles won. And the Red Sox shut out the Mariners. All right, two and two, not bad at all. And we got one more game against these here Oakland Athletics. And after that game, I'm very confident. So only one way to find out because the game's played on the field, right? Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you when we face against the finale, the Oakland Athletics.